Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Siri Love Jav here, and today we're playing in Tropia Universe. What we're going to be doing today is a about 100 PED steel bird hunt. So, steel birds are basically these robots. I've never actually taken one down before, so we're going to just see how this goes, and then depending on how easy or hard it is, either we'll be hunting these things or we won't. So, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and take the shot and see what happens. And that's not the one we're going to be killing. I just want to get rid of this guy because he's going to get in the way. And then we're going to switch over and we've got to properly map out the guns. And if you guys can't tell by the title, one of the things we're going to be talking about and probably the big topic today is going to be deeds. Okay. Um, so first off, if you guys remember just a few videos ago, I think. I'm not 100% sure when that video came out in relation to this. But yeah, a few videos ago, basically, I made a video going over... So ancient Greece deeds and how I bought some deeds and was not happy with um, just how I, how I couldn't sell them. Okay, so I did get some information on you, so sh or on that. So shout out to the guy who actually gave me that, like provided a link and all that. So if you, if you do go to the next island forms, you can see that they ha they have said, I guess originally, that those deeds are not going to be tradable for the next six months. So that means basically my PEDs are locked in for six months, and then after that, those deeds are going to be tradable, or at least that's how it looks. Um, so yeah, it's it's not as bad as I thought, right? Like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna try and take. Oh, this is a low low level one, so this is gonna be pretty easy. These aren't. This isn't a steel bird though, so this is just an attacker. I think these are the ones that you can find in PvP four. Actually, these all might be ones that you can find in PvP four. Anyways, so yeah, the deal is six months. The ancient greece shares are going to be locked up for um that's definitely disappointing but it is what it is right like that it's true that is something i should have looked for and that is some information that was provided for me if i'd looked in the right place known where to look i just read the entropia universe sort of the printout on their main page and that was that right like i just read that i didn't see it and i thought okay we're good um obviously i was wrong and that's just how it goes so yeah that information was provided i don't think it was provided in all the places it should have been provided in but it's not as bad as i was originally thinking so that's you know good and bad news right but yeah six months i'm gonna be stuck with those deeds and we'll sort of see how it goes from there Ooh, we're being attacked by quite a few of these guys and this this he this has way more hp than i thought um i'm probably gonna die here there's a very good chance that they're gonna oh there we go all right we did it we did it so we took down a steel bird. As you can see, those things have quite quite a bit of quite a bit of HP. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be killing those um, today. We might just do some attackers, something a little bit easier. Do like the explosion, so. Um, so yeah, let's talk about ancient grease deeds. I've had them now for about two weeks. I've gotten two weeks worth of payouts, and I think I think I can start talking about it, going over sort of the numbers and everything like that. So as far as payouts go, Last week, I have basically I have 100 Ancient Greece shares. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying that many. That was sort of an accident that I went over in another video. But yeah, I've got 100 Ancient Greece shares for better or worse. And the way it's working is the first week I got two PEDs, I believe, from the Ancient Greece shares. And then this week, I got an additional one PED. So if you look at that, basically, the deeds have paid out two PECs for that first week with that initial hype. And there's still some hype, but they paid out less this week, just one PEC per deed. So they're not making too much. This is about even though with what Crystal Palace deeds are doing. So if you look into Crystal Palace deeds, I mean, let's see, that's a level three. Let's see what we can find here. Level 22, can't take those. Let's see if we can get some lower level, level there we go, level 16. Let's try this steel bird here. Um, so yeah, the way, the way it works, or I guess what I've gotten basically, is about equal to what I'm getting from Crystal Palace. So I went back, looked at Crystal Palace, I'm getting about two to three PEDs, or PECs, per deed. So Crystal Palace deeds right now, whatever they're valued at, is probably where the Ancient Greece deeds stand. Now, the obvious sort of caveat here is that these Ancient Greece deeds need to keep up the hype. If they can't do that, they're not going to be worth the same as Crystal Palace deeds. But right now they're holding their value. So if you look at this, they're worth 10 PEDs for these deeds. And for Crystal Palace, the deeds are worth about 17.8 PEDs. Um, so obviously Crystal Palace deeds are worth more, but that's because Crystal Palace deeds have a history of paying out. Whereas if you look at it, ooh, geez, he almost got me. Um, whereas if you look at the 
you know, the ancient Greece shares. It's brand new. We don't know which way this is going to go, and most likely those payouts are going to drop. But obviously, if they can come through and come up with some really cool stuff, get those Ubers in there to start, you know, playing around a bit, then, ooh, I did not mean to do that, but we're going we're gonna to go for this. Level 22 Steel Bird here. Let's see if we can take it. Um, I'm going to bring it to a little bit closer to the spawn point because I'm probably going to die here. Um, so, yeah, basically right now it's not looking too bad if these payouts can hold out for the next couple months then i'll be happy i probably won't even sell the deeds if the payouts don't hold up for the next couple months then i won't be happy oh all right so we died right there so we're gonna have to come back and kill that one so yeah level 22 steel birds i cannot take they have a little bit more hp than i'm used to and um yeah if i look that up on entropia form or on the you know, forms on in, on the entropia wiki i probably could have figured that out but i didn't look it up because i like to just go out and take a few shots and see what happens and um obviously yeah it didn't didn't end too well for me there but yeah so you know we know where we stand i could use some better uh better armor or a better gun probably a combination of both because it's taking me a few too many shots to kill these anyways uh, jumping back so yeah crystal palace and ancient greece shares pretty equal right now um, when you look at Chris or Calypso land deeds and Arcadia underground deeds, Arcadia underground deeds are paying about one PEC per day. That's sort of where it's averaging, and it looks like every few days they're just not not paying out quite. You know, they're not paying out quite as much, right? Like, so you'll go maybe five days, you'll get five one PEC payouts from those Arcadia underground deeds. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get one day of no payouts, and then you go another five with one PEC payouts, one maybe two PEC payouts, something like that. Um, so you can just think of Arcadia Underground Deeds as paying out about 0.6 PECs per day. So they should be worth probably a little bit over double what Crystal Palace Deeds are worth, but obviously they are worth a bit more than that. So you could say they're a tad overvalued, but again, it's, it's hard to tell because they've got a bit more trend towards paying out just year after year and overall like they're still a pretty good vehicle um you know it, it is what it is right like crystal palace they're sort of benefiting a lot probably well, not a lot but they're benefiting from codex missions and stuff like that whereas arcadia underground is not arcadia underground's primarily mining um in theory they should at some point see a spike when you've got more sort of codex missions coming to Arcadia and Arcadia Underground, but you never really know. Um, ooh, what do we have? All right, we got this guy attacking us. Let's take him down. So yeah, there's, there's a few things going on there. And then when you look at Calypso land deeds, those are paying out about 2.5 PEDs per deed per week. Okay. Um, and those deeds are worth quite a bit more. Um, so I, I, we, can, we can run the percentages here, right? So let's... Um, Let's just run the numbers real quick here. I'm gonna sort of, I'm gonna have to just stand here and do nothing while I run this into a calculator. As you can tell, I'm trying to like talk and do this at the same time, and that does make things a little bit harder. So if we just take like 2.5, which is roughly where they're paying out, I got for 20 deeds, I got about 50 PEDs this week, 54 PEDs, I believe it was. We can 54 divided by. So yeah, it's paying out 2.7, let's say. And this this is pretty. This is sort of a lull in Entropia Universe, and obviously. There's going to be more people gaming because of what's going on in real life. Um, so obviously there's more people doing that. And I can even tell that just by looking at my YouTube channel. Um, way more views now than I was getting last month. Um, and I don't think it's because my video quality has increased by <laughs> double. Um, actually, I know my video quality has not increased by that much. I've had a few good videos, but it's, it's not those that are just pulling me along here. Um, so yeah, I can, yeah. But yeah, there's, there should be probably more people online playing games, but there's less people playing in Tropia, or at least there's less money flowing into deeds, it looks like. And I'm seeing this mainly across Calypso land deeds. I'm not seeing so much of a hit to the Arcadia Underground or Crystal Palace deeds. But again, maybe I'm just sort of viewing this through a lens, and that, that could be the reason. But yeah, if we do the math here, let's say 2.7 is the average payout for Calypso land deeds. It's probably just a little bit higher than that. So we take that, let's divide it by 2,000 because that's what we're going to say one deed costs. I think they're a little bit more than that now, but let's say 2,000 because deed prices have dropped a bit, again, because of the economy and all that. So month over month, they're paying out about 0.13%. 
multiply that by you know the months and you get about a seven percent return on calypso land deeds so with arcadia underground deeds i think those are going for about 70 pds let's say so again per week we're going to say they're paying out 0 0.06 divide that by what would we say 70. so you're getting about 0 0.08 percent per week i believe um multiply that you're getting about a 4.4 percent return on those arcadia underground deeds now obviously if those payouts are a little bit higher than what i'm saying which it's definitely possible then i'd be way off on that these are just off the cuff numbers so just you know keep that in mind um actually i can i'll pull that up for you guys right now too because i want to make sure that we we're all looking at the same numbers here right it's always important um so here you can see is this a yeah, this is it. So I've got 114 Arcadia Underground Deeds just slowly been collecting those. And you can see they're paying out about 1 PEC every single day. Um, this is Arcadia Moon Deeds. Those are paying out every like four days, it's looking like. Um, so it's like you're getting about 1.2 PECs. Maybe like, let's say, let's say 1.5, 1.7 maybe PECs a week. Um, we'll be generous and say 1.7. Um, but yeah, here you go. These are your Arcadia Undergrounds, and you're not you're not seeing really any double payouts actually. And I know it does miss about one one day per week, so I think that 4.4% is pretty spot on. Um, with Arcadia Moon Deeds, <laughs> they're valued at I think it's 60 PDs. We're saying, and again, we're saying they're paying out. Um, yeah, they're not they're not paying out much. They're paying out 1.7 PECs. So um, we're gonna divide that by. Uh, 60 multiply that by 52 and you're getting a nice return of 1.4 percent that's that's uh pitiful right now i'd say bonds would pay more but they actually won't right now that's something very very weird that's going on in the world right now let's uh let's take these guys out real quick here because otherwise i'm not going to be able to not going to be able to continue they're going to kill me it's not what we want so yeah, if you can tell, it's very hard for me to do this all at once. I probably should have these numbers ready before I did this, but that'd be a, a mind-blowing thing for me to do. So yeah, for Crystal Palace, let's say they're paying out about 0.02 to 0.03 per PEDs per week. Um, so again, we can go to Entropia Exchange. Yeah, this is Entropia Exchange. Click into this. Oop, that's not, yeah, Transactions. Here you can see just recently, what was my dividend? 0.03. Um, if you look at how many how many deeds do I have? I've got ten. Is that right? Yeah, I've got ten deeds. Um, how did how ten deeds pay out? Point zero three. Oh, total one, I guess. I'm not sure what's going on with that actually. It's a little weird, right? Um, oh, I see. It's because the for some reason when they ordered the dates, they ordered by um. They order it the opposite of the way I always think it is. So, so yeah, here you go. We've got 10 deeds. Oh, actually, the payouts are a little bit higher than I thought. So most recently, the dividend was 20 PECs over one week. Last week, it was 50. The week before that, it was 20. Then it was 30. So I think, you know, 0 0.03, I think that'd be a fair number to give them. Um, 0 0.03 um, PECs per deed. So let's do that. Let's divide that by the price, which is 17.8. We just saw that. We're going to multiply that by 52. The payout there is 8.7 PD. So right now, Crystal Palace deeds, A-OK. -okay. And again, for Ancient Greece shares, it's very hard to do because we've only got two weeks of data. But based on that, they're going to be paying out point or 1.5 PECs, again, per deed. So we're going to take that, again, divide that by 10, which is the set price, multiply that by 52. Those are paying out 7.8%. So again, assuming that Crystal Palace number is right, and that 50 PEC payout, that could have been a bit of a fluke. So we, it, it's, it's hard to tell because if that's a fluke, then these numbers are wrong. We're not really doing this over a long enough period to know for sure. But yeah, I'd say Crystal Palace deeds, definitely a pretty good payout rate. Um, Calypso land deeds seems to be pretty good. Um, just sort of eyeballing it again. Those Arcadia underground deeds are decent, but not so hot. The Arcadia moon deeds would be, in my opinion, those would be a definite no. Um, and the ancient Greece shares again. That's they're actually looking pretty good. If they can keep this hype going, which I, I personally don't think they can, but if they could keep the hype going, it's definitely a good deal. Um, so again, with those, it's going to be only time will tell. Okay, I think this is, sh oh no, all right. I thought he was dead. I'm like, oh, maybe I can just help him kill that one. 
but uh, he, he was not dead, so I'm not going to help him kill that one. But, uh, yeah, so I'd, I'd say overall that's, like, a brief overview of the deeds. I know a lot of people have asked me to do that, so I figured this would be a, as good a time of, of, as any to just run through the deeds, talk about them, talk about the payouts. Um, obviously, right now, we don't know if deposits are going to keep going at the rate they've been going at previously. So there's a chance that what's going to happen is as people are sort of stuck at home more and more and there's just less income coming in they're going to deposit less and go more of that free to play model which is going to negatively increase payout or decrease payouts and that's going to decrease what deeds pay out too um, so when i say payouts i mean loot payouts and then that's going to lead to lower deed payouts um, that's just sort of the way entropia works that's the way the world works and, you know is what it is there's nothing we can do about that but just given the numbers I'm working with here, that's what we're coming up with. Obviously, Calypso land deeds are going to pay out a lot more during Merry Mayhem. Merry Mayhem specifically, actually. Like, Halloween Mayhem does pretty good, but Merry Mayhem is always, like, the big event, right? So when that happens, the deeds are paying out almost 50% uh, more. So again, then you include that into the statistics, and now they're going to look a lot more lucrative. So that's, that's how you can sort of... Um, Think of the CLD price. That's why they're worth it because those payouts do tend to spike up quite a bit, and that makes up for sort of the, the slightly lackluster payouts that you're getting getting right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. If you have any questions, like always, feel free to ask. Um, as far as what you personally should buy, that's literally up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to buy because it really is up to you you've got to look at sort of what you're dealing with what you believe in where you like to go and you know all that and make your make your decisions that way um normally i advise you to invest your money in the stock market instead um obviously there's been some stuff going on there so like you know everything's up in the air right entropia universe isn't recession proof i've heard some people saying that um that's definitely not true last recession that happened and Tropia Universe did get affected by it um, I don't even think that's something that MindArc would tell you that it's recession proof because that's a ridiculous claim there's a very th few things in this world that are recession proof and um, video games well they they tend to be sort of a low sort of cost per hour played so ooh, just got killed right before that one this is a hard spawn because honestly I can just barely take these steel birds and then these little attackers, they just sort of ping away at you until you're dead, which uh, makes life a little bit harder on you. Um, but yeah, it's not recession proof. So if you're thinking you can dump a bunch of money into Entropia Universe and save it, that's um, it's going to be a very, very uh, hard, hard lesson for you to learn if you try and do that. But that doesn't mean you should stop playing the game or anything like that. Obviously, if you've got money here, I wouldn't recommend withdrawing it because... You know, if you're enjoying what you're doing and you're stuck at home, this is a great game to spend some hours with. I'd definitely say that, at least. Um, you know, I found myself doing that, too. So I'm, I'm right there with you guys, I guess, playing along and just uh, sitting at home waiting it all out. I think everybody knows I'm not a medical professional or anything like that. I'm a programmer, so I can, I can work remotely, which is very lucky for me because that means that there's no, like, drop in salary or anything like that. But it does mean, you know, you got to work a little bit harder just because you want to want to try and make up for lost revenues as much as possible, right? So, like, if your company's not making X amount, if you can increase those numbers just a little bit, that does make it worth it, right? Like, for them, that makes life easier, and then that makes your life... Ooh! Oh! Wow. That was really cool. So we, we got I got 103 PED Global right there. Really? Ah, thanks for taking that. Thanks. Cool. So I partially damaged that one, and that guy finished it off, and he he got some swirlies, and I got the majority of the loot. So like that's um, happy days for everybody, I guess, right? That was 103 PD loot. Um, 95 PDs of that plus a little bit of extra went to me. It was all shrapnel. I didn't see any cool items or anything like that there, but it's it's always good to see that. I mean, that means that means it was a good hunt, right? Why am I shooting this thing? All right, fine. So yeah, that was that was, that was good. That was, was that's what that's what you want with those steel birds, right? Because that's um it's a high cost to kill there, so you've got to get gotta get some good loot but we did so we're gonna we're gonna keep going with that obviously i do have that steel bird challenge i think that closed for some reason um but yeah i'm just running through these missions here so you can see let's see 
I don't think I have one for attackers. I do not. But if you jump down here into more of the S train, you're going to see for Steelbirds, I do have some missions to complete. So if I can get those done, that would be good. Um, it's going to be hard, though, especially with these little guys attacking me. They do not make life easy right there because they're just banging away, right? Um, so I'm going to try and heal up here and then get the rest of this kill. Obviously, if you guys think about this, this is very inefficient hunting. This is probably the exact opposite of what I should be doing. In fact, I'm going to actually look up steel birds. I'm pretty sure they do penetration and burn damage, which is generally what a laser weapon does. But just in case I'm off on that and there's some weird thing that's going on here, that could be why my armor's taking more damage. But most likely it's because... Oh, come on. Even though they say level 18, they're actually taking they have a lot more hp than a defender or something like that which i can actually take out right because you're seeing what's happening here is these steel birds are doing less damage to me than a defender would but they're taking way way longer to kill their time to kill is just way way longer because they have a higher hp so it's just it's a very hard thing for me to take on um most likely what i'm gonna have to do is either borrow some maybe nemesis armor i'm pretty sure i can just get a borrow a set of that from someone and be good to go or if possible upgrade guns um, so right now I'm using an LR 25 you're gonna see that right here but if you go ahead and look at this you gonna see I think I'm maxed out yeah I'm maxed out on everything here so it might be time to go to that LR 30 and that might just be what I need to sort of oh why did I do that it's not what I wanted to do I wanted to kill the one that was attacking me of course I've got to kill this guy first and then we've got to go back and we're gonna run and kill this thing because if I don't get this kill he's gonna heal up and that's never good so one thing you always want to make sure is that whatever bot you're attacking or robot you're killing does not have a chance to heal up because the second it starts healing up that's just bad news bears for you right um, so yeah let's go ahead and take out all these attackers that are attacking me now but yeah, I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think of this video. I think it was a little bit more, like, lackluster. I'm not sure. Like, I, I was probably doing too many things at once, right? Usually when I do one of these, like, deed videos, I do it just sit down and I do just that. And I thought it might be a little bit more exciting if I actually did some hunting while I talked about it. And I feel like that didn't... I feel like the format wasn't quite good because there's a lot of numbers crunching and just things like that. And it's a little too distracting when I'm doing something like this and hunting. Um, so yeah, let, let me know what you think about that. Um, I guess we've still got some ammo to go through, so we'll keep this hunt going just a little bit longer. I think people have more time, uh, so they, they probably won't mind if I just drag this out a little bit longer. If you guys, if you guys were just here for the deed part of the video, that's um, that's over and done with at this point, right? Like, we're done talking deeds. So if that's what you're here for, probably, you know, you can you can head on out and do whatever. If you're just here to listen to me talk, well, we'll we'll keep it going, right? We can go for. Maybe we'll do 30 minutes, maybe we'll do 40 minutes. We'll see. Ooh, this guy's this guy's helping me out with those kills. So that's that's nice, assuming. Oh! There we go. Look at that. Another one. Another one. Nice. And I think we've got the got the recipe here. That was that was that was really good. So what was that that we got there? So yeah, we got a, uh, let's see. We got a Hida, Hidak, which reminds me, I do have another one that I need to sell. Um, I keep forgetting about that. But yeah, we got a Hidak SK50, 47 PDs to it. And if you look up the markup on this thing, 106%, which isn't too bad. Um, wow, that's, that, that's actually really impressive. Two globals right there. So yeah, you know, if you want to stick around, there's gonna be some cool stuff coming, right? We got some globals. And again, like these, these are they're a little bit too hard for me to take, but when when the loot's good, it's like you gotta gotta do your part, right? Take some shots at it. I feel like I'll take some shots at this one. Why not? Again, if he's if he's going for his iron mission, I'm sort of messing that up because I don't think it counts if we both shoot the same one. But uh, you know, is what it is. So it's. Let's see what else we've got here. That one didn't give us too much. We've got a level 18. Yeah, I guess I'll go through these attackers first. The attackers are definitely easier, but it seems like the steel birds are the ones that are given the globals. So we've got to we'll sort of run the gambit here and make sure that we get a good mix of both. And it looks like I've got one bot over there that I didn't loot. Is that true? 
Yeah, that might... Oh, uh, Bersicle. So I guess I shot him and didn't loot him, so I should probably go back and do that. It's one of the things you don't want to do, right? You don't want to get something, get a kill, and then not loot it. That's just madness right there. That's just donating money to Mondark, which we don't want to do. We want him to earn that money. We want him to take that from our cold dead, dead hands or something like that, whatever they said, right? All right, so let's kill these guys, and then I'm going to take this spot as sort of my own. Assuming that... Assuming this... Uh, I might have one. Yeah, I've got one trailing me, too, and I think that's a steel bird, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. All right, so we can take this guy. It's hard, because they keep spawning on us. This is like... There's so many people here that it's making it a little bit harder for me to... You get the distance, right? Because what happens is when there's a lot of people hunting in an area, the mobs are just more likely to spawn on you because you go deeper into the spawn, right? Like you push yourselves in, the mobs spawn on you, and then all of a sudden it's just hectic. Everything's attacking you, and life isn't good. And you can see that right here. Like I'm getting attacked by all sorts of mobs here. So this this is not the best spawn to come. I'm going to camp Phoenix, by the way. I don't think I said that. But, yeah, this definitely isn't the best spawn out there. But, um that said the loot is uh, pretty good you know if you can if you can hang with these big these big mobs the loot is definitely worth it and even for me it's like i'm not quite there but just two globals like can't can't really turn your back on that right like two globals especially for uh 100 pv hunt like you, you can't beat that that's even if you get two low-end globals that's that's at least 50 pv so you're gonna at least break even on that um, and we got one 109 and one 64 PD hit, so that's, that's pretty good. What did we hit? We shot something, didn't we? All right, let's kill that one. We gotta kill this guy too. These attackers make it so hard. Like you can't just you can't come here just to grind steel birds. You're gonna have to take attackers too. Um, but if you're fine with that, I think that's actually pretty good too. Like nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I'm, I've never hunted Steelbird robots before. This is literally the first time doing it. I just had that mission because one time, like once upon a time when I did with the iron missions is I just went through and got them all. I used to recommend this every video. Just go through, get all the iron missions. And then you never know. At one point, you're just going to be sitting there. You're going to be hunting some random mob. And all of a sudden, you're going to get swirlies and know you completed a mission. And life's good, right? Like that's that's awesome. So I went through, got them all. Obviously, when the Codex came out, those missions just sort of got sort of sunsetted they've got a year left so now i'm just trying to grind through them and get those extra skills um that's why i've actually been skilling up way faster than usual so if you look here i'm almost at seventy-seven thousand skills when i started 2020 we were sitting at, i was sitting about sixty thousand something skills um so using like tree cutting and a few other things like that oh that third global right there three globals in one video folks that is that's intense that's good. All right. So let's, I mean, I was going to say, like, they're a little too hard for me to shoot, but why am I not? Like, of course I'm going to take more steel birds. Even if they kill me and I end up having to go back to, you know, like, respawn, come out here and kill them, it's it's worth it because we're just we're going nuts off these things. And that was exactly 50 PDs right there. But, yeah, we got, we got two others. So, like, yeah, let's just keep it rolling here. And that one actually had my name to it, right? Like, most of those, if you look, they didn't they didn't quite have my name on it because it was a shared loot. That one was just all me right there. So I'll take I'll take it there. Oh, what are we doing? What's going on here? We've got okay. We have three different mobs attacking us. Of course, we're not gonna be able to survive that. Yeah. So what, if you guys look at this too, you're gonna notice the vigilante armor. Well, it's good for robots. It's still like it's not like ghost. With ghost, it feels like if you're taking on something that's geared towards go like geared for ghost. You're going to be able to take on robots that are or mobs that are level 18, no problem. With Vigilante, there's definitely a little bit more give and take there. Which, you know, nothing wrong with that. It is what it is. So let's see, did I, uh, did I select that point to spawn at? Because I need to go back to my death location so I can get those kills. Especially that Steel Bird. I mean, we've just been getting some good loots with those. So, like, no reason not to. I think that's my death location. If it's not my death location, I'm somewhere out there, so we'll we'll figure it out once we get out there. Okay, there we go. So 
So you can see we've on, on this hunt we've only killed probably 10 of these or maybe 11 because some of them were shared loot and out of that we had three globals so 11 kills three globals that is that's quite the rate right there and we've still got a few more to go right like maybe this one will do it no nope, 10 pds i'll take it though 10 pds is still like a very good payout for this robot um so yeah i, I didn't think i didn't think this would be a video about like yeah these these things are just paying left and right but it seems like that's 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 the direction this video is taken and if you guys know me you know that's not something i'm going to complain about it's uh, a positive positive thing that's happened positive experience all right let's keep going maybe this is mind dark rewarding me for accidentally purchasing a hundred uh ancient grease shares See, if that comes out, that's going to explode the share price, right? If they're just like, yeah, your, your loot actually slightly goes up every time you buy a share. People are going to go nuts. 22, can't take that. 18? Those seem to be paying, so we're, we're going to do some 18. Level 18 Steelbirds. I don't, I don't know what's going on now, but it seems like I shoot, and then just because I step back one step, I go outside of the range, and then all of a sudden, like, I'm not doing damage to the... It stops shooting. It stops at auto shoot, which I do not like. I don't like the fact that I keep getting double teamed here. Ooh, 110. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to out heal this. That that was a there's a deadly crit hit right there. That must have been the steel bird that got it. So you can see like this this is why melee is very important because critical hits are just gonna go right through your armor basically a lot of the time. Um, and when you when you get hit for 110, if you don't have a decent amount of HP, that that could just kill you outright um to increase my to increase my hp i've actually been doing a lot more melee skills so i've been going out there with one of those like just sort of tree terminal short blade and uh, long sword and all that and that actually increases my increases my hp quite a bit it also increases your strength so those are two good things to have because that's going to mean a you can take more hits like that's a way to get more health without actually buying armor so, you know, if you don't want to buy armor, if you want to be more eco, get more HP. That's, if you can do that, do that before you get armor, right? So, like, if you want to go out there and grind with a melee weapon, it might cost you a bit, but overall, long run, it's probably going to be better for you. Um, and then the other thing, the other sort of, again, obvious thing, it's going to give you more strength, which means you can carry more in your inventory. For some people, that matters. I know a lot of miners who actually just grind that because they just want to be able to carry more, right? Like especially pre um pre vehicles because nowadays what happens is like let's say you you get over encumbered the easiest thing to do basically is just spawn a vehicle put all your loot in that and then just send the vehicle right back to your trade terminal or trade terminal send it right back to storage do not trade terminal it that would be very bad um if you send it right back to storage then you know when you when you get done with the run you just open the inventory in the vehicle pull everything out and now all of a sudden you've got your total loot and you can sort of see where you're sit sitting i know my total loot is going to be pretty insane for this hunt i'm not i'm not even like most of the way done with it we've still got a, a hundred something shots and we're we're probably sitting at 150 something peds especially once you consider like markup on some of the stuff it's going to be pretty good i love the fact that they've got explosions Sort of makes these mobs a lot more fun to hunt, I think. Every mob should explode. I think Aatrox, when I hunt Aatrox, I want them to explode too. I want I want the game to take that direction, right? Like, everything explodes. Doesn't matter what you hit, it explodes when you hit it. What is this guy? Level 5, let's go him. I'm going to just try and run the border here and see if I can't get around these sort of level 22 guys and maybe get some level 18 mobs in there. I think everybody else left because they got tired of watching me global. That's a thing too, for sure. Like, I, I'd hate to be in one of those guys' positions where you're, you're hunting next to someone and they've global three times, and like I'm obviously not out damaging them. Like they're doing more damage than me. I'm just getting lucky and hitting the ones that are globaling. And again, it all depends on how you think it works, right? Some people think every loot's like a personal loot pool, and if that's the case, then there's no downside to me globaling. If that's not the case and each mob has its own individual loot, it could mean that like they're they're sitting there thinking that basically like if that's the loot theory they believe in, then they're sitting there thinking that I just got lucky, picked the right mobs, and you know, instead of them getting the loot, 
I'm getting it. Especially that guy that killed two of them for me. Like, you know, I, I wasn't quite doing it. And he came in, like, got that final bit. So he's still got the swirlies, but he's not getting the loot. That's, that's like, insult to injury right there. And, and nothing, nothing wrong on my part. Like, there's no reason I should be sharing with him because he's getting... He's getting the loot and the items I'm getting are not anything crazy. Like, the, the distribution's pretty fair on that. And he's still getting a global, so he's still, like... He gets to see the swirlies, and he gets a bit of extra loot because of it. Especially on that 100 PD one. Like, he, he did okay. Can't feel too, too bad for him. Alright, so what do we have here? We got some level 22s, level 3. What do we have over here? I want to see... Oh, come on. Level 22, 22, 22. Alright, there's a lot of level 22 Steelbirds here. I'm looking for like a level 16, maybe? Sort of. 22, of course. Alright. Let's see if we can't... Uh, no. I don't know why I'm doing this. There's no, oh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to take this guy. Yeah. I don't even know if it's worth going back for this one because he just... That thing took me on so fast. It's probably going to take like one or two sort of attempts to kill it, which is a little bit more than I'm willing to give. I think we're going to have to go attackers for the rest of this hunt just to make it easy. And then I'll just come back here periodically and work my way through 10 of these steel birds at, at a time and maybe see if I can't get an LR30. I don't, I don't think I'm quite to that LR30 level yet, but I'm getting close. And I think I think with some of these missions too, like I've, I've gotten a few missions done recently. Oh, actually... Yeah, right by the trade, right by the TT, right by revive, I think I can take him. If I can't, it's not a big deal because I'm going to be reviving. So I can just run right back out and kill him. So I'm, I'm fine with that. And the turrets, supposedly turrets are disabled right now. I got that wrong in one of my other videos. The turrets seem to be disabled, which means you can pull these mobs as close to respawn as possible. So there's no real downside. Well, there's still a downside, but there's not as much of a downside to dying anymore. Because what's going to happen is I'll die, I heal up real fast, and I come right back out and shoot it. So A, it de me, which means I'm not going to spend time healing damage that they're doing. And I can just heal up and go right back out and start shooting. Again, this is extremely uneco, but if you're if you're taking on a mob that's global three times in a 100 PD hunt, like be as uneco as you need to be, because that mob is giving out loot right there. If, if it's giving out money, like keep doing it, right? At least that's my opinion. Some people would disagree with me. Some people would say like it, you know, it does it doesn't doesn't work out that way. For me personally, I say it does. So I'm I'm more than happy to keep shooting this thing unless I die again. That'd just be discouraging. It's only so much dying I can do, right? And then people are gonna complain too. They're gonna they're not gonna like the video. Oh, all right, that's bad. Cause see now now I've got this longer respawn time. So that's gonna give the mob a lot more time to heal up. So this this method, this method of mine did not work out. Um, yeah. So right right there, you can see why you don't do what I just did, and that's actually why Mind Dark implemented the respawn timer because people were doing what I did, and I think some people didn't think it was fair. Um, I don't see it that way to be honest, personally. But you know, is what it is to each their own sort of thing. So you know, you do you, I guess. And that was just sort of the way Mind Arc did it. So, it is what it is. Alright, there we go. Again, that loot wasn't too crazy. So, let's heal up again. Let's pull out the gun. Let's see if we can see... Ooh, there we go. Level 16. That's what I need. Level 16 is like a nice and easy one, hopefully. If I die, that's going to be like a 30 second, 30 second respawn or something crazy. So, I need to make sure I don't die. Going to pull all the... All the specials out here. I'm gonna walk backwards. I should probably even be using like that he doc, right? Like the 20 that I had. Cause this is actually a problem I have, right? Like I'll loot an item, and because it's not like sitting there right in my inventory, right where I check, I forget that I've got it until I loot another item and then I look and I've got two items and there's just a lot of PD sitting there that really shouldn't be there. Um and that's that's not what I want to be doing, but uh, it, could, it could be better, it could be worse, I guess. I've got, I've got the the S10 hotkeyed, and that's I guess that's what I'm doing. For better or worse. Ooh, 56. That's that's a hard crit right there. At least it wasn't 110 or whatever that last one was. That was a 
110 is a brutal crit hit. All right, so let's loot this. This is the last one. So if this globals, you know I'm a pro. And if it doesn't, ooh, 20 PDs. Like that's not pro level, but I'll, I'll take it. Did I did I miss out on some missions here? Let's see what these guys are. Okay, this is Snabble Snot Hunting Quest. I don't really care about that too much. What is this one? New orders, what is it? Yeah, I'll help, what is it? Okay, that's just killing Versicle. All right, so I don't really care about those two too much. So yeah, overall we went out, we killed 14 Steelbirds, three of them global, that sounds ridiculous. And we killed a ton of attackers too. But yeah, three globals out of 14 kills, that is, that's next level. That's something I've very rarely seen. Let's dump this all in here. Not bad. What is this going to be? Not bad. All right. So we didn't get too much in actual, like, loot. If you look at this, right? Like, just in sort of markup here, not not much. We're going to be making an extra 1%, maybe 2% markup on this, but not too much. Um, we're going to make a little bit more on this HEDOC 50. That's a, that, that's a big part of the loot, honestly. Another big part is obviously the ammo. So overall, we're walking away with about 300... 313 PDs, so let's pull 317 PDs, let's pull 100 off that, we're sitting at 217 in return and profit. Um, let's throw the armor in, let's throw the ammo in, that's about 17 PDs. So we made about 200 PDs on this hunt, or um, if you want to do the math on that, we made about 200% profit, or 300% returns. That's That's crazy, that is, I did not expect that, but I'm definitely glad it happened. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this hunt. If you got questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to comment down below. I know we started off with deeds, but we went way out into the weeds there and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This one ran quite a bit longer than I was expecting, but it was a good hunt and I had some fun with it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.